Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking 2022 home design and decor trends. Now, I just want to first off start by saying these are just trends. If you love stuff that is not trendy, you should put that in your space. And if you love stuff that's trendy, you should put that in your space because I firmly believe that our homes are all about what resonate with us and we never want to design our space because somebody else is telling us what does or doesn't look good. I hope that comes across on my channel. I really try to get across principles of design but I never want to preach certain styles because, um, you know, I explain what I like, but I would never think that somebody who has a different style than mine, it doesn't look good. You should put in your space the things that really bring you joy and the style that you like. Now, with that being said, I do think it's really fun to kind of track what comes and goes. And these are things that I've been seeing pop up a lot more lately on designers Instagram feeds than I was seeing before. So definitely some fun stuff to track for 2022. And I'm excited to share it all with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the trends. Okay, so for our first trend, I know that in 2021, olive trees were very popular and I am a personal huge fan. I have one in probably like every room in my house and I think we're still gonna be seeing them a lot through 2022, but there is a new tree on the scene and this is the Audrey ficus or ficus Audrey and fun fact, it's actually the national tree of India. So kind of has a little bit of an exotic look to it and I've been just seeing a lot of designers use these in their spaces, both big and small. And I think that they add a really fresh, clean, unique look to your space, but they can still go with a lot of different design styles, kind of changes things up a little bit. It's still very rustic looking. It can look good in farmhouse, mid-century modern, really goes with a lot of different decor styles. So it's really versatile. So yeah, definitely a really fun trend in 2022. Okay, so this next trend is kind of a continuation of that open shelving trend that we saw a lot of last year and the year before, and it is the new kitchen ledge. And I think this is really cool because it's kind of a minimalistic take on open shelving. When I see it, it's usually a continuation of a stone, granite, or quartz backsplash. So it's just a little extra piece that creates a ledge, typically over the range or the oven. It's kind of like a graduated utility rack, just somewhere to put things that you use in your everyday cooking, like salt and pepper shakers, maybe a recipe book. You can pop a little piece of artwork up there. And it's fun because it's really versatile. You could always change it out. And it just gives your eye a little bit of something extra to land on. You can dress it up or dress them down as much as you want. You can layer it with lots of things up there or just keep it really minimal and simple. I think they're really fun, especially right when they're over the range, just because you could have your everyday cooking items, everything's within arm's reach. So it's definitely a fun one and I'm excited to see more of this one too. Okay, so this next trend is definitely a little interesting to me. It is the grandma chic or grand millennial trend. And this first started off kind of as an anti-trend just to be different from what everyone was doing with the very sleek lines of the modern farmhouse. Um, this is a lot of floral prints, pleated lampshades, fringe, antique furniture, just very classic lines and things that, you know, basically you would find in your grandma's house. So I think certain aspects of this trend are really fun and I may or may not implement them into my home. I'm kind of intrigued by the pleated lampshade. Um, I know that they are dust catchers, but I think it is something fun and different. And I love when old trends like this kind of circle back around. I do think that adding a pleated lampshade is super easy to do. It doesn't cost you a lot of money, um, but it definitely could switch up your look just to keep things trendy if it was something that interested you. The florals are kind of fun. You could just pop a floral pillow on your couch or sofa. There's definitely fun ways to kind of incorporate this without going overboard, but I have seen a lot of the new designer collections selling pleated lampshades, floral prints, and you know, fringy furniture things with a little bit more curves and detail, kind of getting back to those more traditional lines. And it'll be interesting to see how it plays out in 2022. Okay, so this next trend I'm really excited about because it's super DIY friendly and you can create a really big impact for a really small amount of effort and money. And this is lime washed walls. Now, this is a very rustic look. It kind of gives your walls that effect of, you know, like a Venetian plaster and it's just the painting technique. So, you know, you can do this to any accent wall, to a bathroom, things like that. I'm actually gonna come out with a tutorial on this in a couple of weeks. I have the lime wash ready to go in my house, so I have the walls all prepped. So I'm excited to show you guys what I'm able to do with this stuff. And you know, like I said, it's very DIY friendly. And this is a great one for those of you who are not super well versed in home renovations, but you wanna do something to create a really big impact for you know not a lot of effort or money or skill level. And I think that this is gonna be a really fun one that we're gonna see a lot more of in 2022. It's definitely a very 
rustic look, but it's kind of fun if you want to blend styles a little bit and have those little rustic accents, which I personally like the look of. So I think that it's going to be a fun one to share with you guys. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you see that tutorial in a couple weeks. Another trend that I've been seeing a lot lately in kitchens are curves and arches. I'm talking cabinets, the cutouts of the stone in your kitchen, and the moldings. I'm seeing a lot more curves than we used to see. I think that curves are really fun and they switch up the look of an otherwise really straight boxy room. So I am here for this one. Um, if your kitchen's already done, you know, everything's kind of set in stone. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, sorry. Um, you could always, you know, put some curvy molding in or do some curves and arches with paint. There's definitely ways that you can play this up and I think that this is a really cool one and I'm excited to see more of this as the year goes on. And I know you guys probably don't need me to tell you this one, but we're definitely seeing a lot more moody colors coming back onto the scene. We used to have those really stark bright white spaces, which I think are really fun and refreshing, but now we're definitely seeing big pops of contrasts in places like accent walls, furniture pieces, rugs, cabinets, things like that. We're also seeing a lot of mixed cabinet colors. So, you know, people will do wood mixed with black cabinets, things like that, just to kind of give your space a punch of contrast. Dark, deep greens are really popular right now. Dark blues and dark woods are kind of coming back on the scene as well. And I personally love having pops of contrast within white spaces. I like to personally keep the foundation very light and bright and then, you know, implement some darker colors on there. So it doesn't fall flat, but it's still feels overall like bright and welcoming but I know there's a lot of people here who really love moody there's lots of layered moody rooms now lots of people layering in dark rugs with dark walls with dark cabinets and dark furniture I think that it looks really good especially if you have a lot of natural light all right so another trend that I've been seeing a lot of lately are curvy furniture pieces and you know we really had that time when the sleek modern straight line furniture was really in but now we're kind of gravitating back towards curves, curved back accent chairs, circular legs on our coffee tables, and just furniture with more curves in general than 90 degree angles. Not saying that 90 degree angles are out or anything, definitely fun to mix both in a space, but I do think that we're seeing a lot more curvy, less angular pieces that are out on the market right now. I personally think it's really, really great in a space to mix curves and straight angles. I think that gives your space a really dynamic feel. And I think that it's important to do. So I love that we're seeing more of this stuff come out on the market now. A lot of new designers collections include lots of curved furniture. So I'm excited to kind of implement that into my space. And I actually had bought some really pretty curved chairs for our upstairs room. I talked about that a little bit in the home goods haul, but we have some curves up there that I'm excited to share with you guys too. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot of lately are just paired benches in a living room. You know, when you're gathering around the table to play a game or things like that, it's really nice to have that extra seating so these benches typically go in a place where it was previously a large traffic flow area and would have been left open but now we're kind of implementing these so we have extra seating for guests and I think it does just look really aesthetic you can do this with a contrasting stool so it kind of adds a pop of color to your space or you can just do neutral color so it keeps your space feeling really cohesive I think there's lots of different directions you can go with these I see ottoman poofs like more fabricy ones um there's also some that have more like metal or wood legs so definitely some fun ways to play with our living room decor i love this because you know ottomans typically aren't super expensive or stools we are going to be putting some in our living room and i had a hard time deciding on them so i will link some of my favorites below that i was able to find yeah i think that this is a really cool one it looks visually pleasing but still has a practical element as well all right so another trend that i'm seeing a lot of lately is rattan accessories and this just kind of fits in the theme of bringing vintage back and you know rattan really warms up your space so I think it's great to kind of incorporate this it's great to have it as an alternative to another material we have a lot of wood linen stones things like that in our space so it's kind of fun to add these warmer elements to make our space feel a bit more cozy the new studio McGee line with Target has a bunch of rattan pieces for really affordable prices I think they have a couple magazine holders lamps lampshades garbage cans baskets vases things like that and they're all made of that kind of orangey rattan which was really big in the 70s but we're definitely seeing it come back now so that's definitely a fun one and I'll link a couple pieces below Target has them for really great affordable prices 
Okay, so another trend that I've been seeing a lot of lately is designers using statement vases with just really long twiggy stems. And I'm not talking like filling the whole vase so it's super full and lush. I'm talking really tall, thin, twiggy stems that just make a statement. And this is a very understated, simple look. You don't need a lot to go with it. So I love that this is really achievable and super DIY friendly. You know, you can just get a big statement vase from a local thrift store, spray paint it, get some twigs from outside, make sure all the bugs are gone, been there. You could also just go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and get some stems there. I actually recently found some at Hobby Lobby for $3 a stem that I implemented in our dining nook area. And I really love that it just creates a really tall statement piece, but it's not expensive or over the top. It's great on a dining table, a coffee table, a kitchen island, whatever, you know, in a bathroom. Definitely a fun way to kind of switch up your styling if you're looking to do that. Just get some really tall tall twiggy statement stems and you know pop them in a statement vase. All right you guys so that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about some of the fun designer trends that I've been noticing. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you plan to implement any of these in your home. If there's anything you kind of got your eye on. I'm always curious to know what you guys think about this stuff. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I am so grateful for all of you and thank you for all of your kind comments and support. You guys seriously are the reason I'm here. So thank you guys again so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!